Well, for more on Google's tax issues in Europe, we're joined by Eric Lecomte. He's the executive director of Jubilee USA Network, an organization devoted to poverty relief. Welcome to the show, Eric. Great to be with you. Now, let's first start off by looking at some of these recent European tax settlements. Are these companies finally paying their dues? Well, it, it's certainly an improvement, uh, like the minister says, but I, I think what we're seeing is the regulators uh, throughout Europe are paying attention because they don't believe that these companies are actually paying enough. The reality of it is, is that these corporations are responsible for vast amounts of, of tax avoidance throughout uh, the region in Europe. Now, we mentioned the comments by the UK's finance minister, and he called the Google tax settlement a major success, and critics were very quick to jump on that. So can you really call this a success after a decade of back taxes? Uh, no, we can't. And when we look right now at what's happening with Google as well as other multinational corporations around the world is that, you know, certainly they're paying some taxes, but we're looking at a company like Google through being able to use creative bookkeeping tactics, uh, essentially not paying three billion US dollars in taxes. Um, that's significant. And when we look at it even a much broader perspective, right now the US government is losing about $100 billion annually uh, because of these kinds of creative bookkeeping tactics. Uh, and the developing world, uh, countries that are struggling uh, to make ends meet and look at revenue issues, are also losing more than $100 billion a year because of these antics. Now, you mentioned the people who are losing out because of these antics. What about the people who are benefiting? We mentioned Google, but there are plenty of other companies on the chopping block. Who do you think has seen the most benefit? Well, I, I think at the end of the day, uh, when we're talking about this type of behavior, uh, it's behavior that's not necessarily illegal. Um, you know, we question it because we know it's a clear way of avoiding um, our obligations and our ability to pay these taxes. Uh, but at the same time, what Google's doing, uh, what we're seeing right now through inversions, uh, right now seeing uh, the big Tyco Johnson merger that's in the news, um, that is not in, it's not illegal to move your company's headquarters or what Google's doing, moving its intellectual property right where it's having packs uh, for countries around the world, developing countries and developed countries. And as you mentioned, what they're doing isn't illegal, but it's, it's creative bookkeeping. And most recently, we had also Apple's settlement with the Italian government. So what are some of the key takeaways in that situation? Well, I think it's another example. It's another example of the same. I think on the one hand, European governments are trying to get whatever they can. Uh, they know that uh, it's going to take a lot to be able to secure uh, any kind of settlement with these kinds of firms. So I think they've set the ball rather low. Unfortunately, uh, you know, what that means uh, is they're still setting a standard where these kinds of multinational firms can get away from paying their fair share. Now, obviously, these countries are doing this to make this more attractive for these multinational firms to come in. Is, is there a better way, or are taxes just the way to go to get these companies in? Well, I think, unfortunately, what we're looking at right now is that around the world we're seeing what many economists are calling a race to the bottom. Uh, but the idea that if a tax uh, rate is low in Ireland, it's going to be lower in Zimbabwe, then again lower in the United States or Japan or Zambia, and it's going to go back and forth like ping pong ball. And so that's part of, I think, what we're seeing with U.S. Congress, we're seeing with a lot of international regimes, the United Nations, trying to find one way to have one global complete tax code um, that allows uh, for everyone to be paying into the system in a fair way. But unfortunately, one of the great challenges with our current system uh, is that it's a race to the bottom, that we don't have good tax regulation in place uh, to keep the likes from Google uh, to keep chasing a lower tax regime, whether that's in Ireland uh, or whether that's in South America. And with that being said, that you, they still have to have all this consistency with the regulations, like what sort of changes can we actually expect then with all these cases coming up? Well, you know, we certainly have seen with certain sectors uh, some improvement. Uh, and I think part of what we need to see in the near, uh, the near future uh, is companies like Google, which, you know, in many other ways are an important social company and social force, starting to take more responsibility. Unfortunately, the tech industry uh, in general uh, has been terrible at using these loopholes to avoid paying their fair share of taxes. But we also see the same happening in the extractives industry. We see it happening in many other multinationals where greater regulation and greater speculation is starting to come to play uh, with large oil companies and gas companies around the world, 
Uh, we need to see more of that uh, with the tech industry. So there needs to be more global uh, regulation. There needs right. to be more uh, action taking place uh, uh, across the world. Well, definitely something we'll be keeping an eye on. Eric Lacombe, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.